Rider. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help, if you could. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line, all the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories. Of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and... I failed them. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes. Why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in the end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need the tech officer's sign off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? I thought we settled this. What's going on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah, look at the arc here. That's artistry. And there. I said all great differences. So there's no mission on my ship.
Hello, Scott. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Feeling okay? I saw another memory that Dad locked away. The day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. Even in her last moments, Dad couldn't accept Mom's death. It's hard to let go of the ones we love. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Not showing any missions now. All right, let's try team one. Okay, okay Ryder just quickly needs to talk to us, let's do that and then we'll get on with the missions. Buildings at Trodromos, typical houses for humans. There's a lot of variants even within our species. I'm not sure I can call anything typical. Yours then. What did your family home look like? Mm, I might start crying. Is that shameful? We cry together, laugh together, sometimes fight like Adi. Now <laughs> that sounds like home. Hey. Hello, Ryder. How's the face wound? <laughs> I think my scar will be impressive. A centimeter to the right and... Well, let's not think about it. Axul was always a terrible shot. Well, shit. Wouldn't have worried so much if you told me that before. <laughs> Can you stay and talk some more? Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? 
Did you study anything particular in school? I... <clears throat> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. I hope being here will inspire me. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the cat. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless, yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Well, enough about that. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Alia. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. But it didn't work out? My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where's Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Yeah, well, hopefully that was it. We wanted to talk to her, so we've chat. Let's get on with it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications to see when and what I upload next. And as always, have fun.